What is la laïcité? This is a word that comes up a lot in conversation in France anytime you're talking about religion. Roughly translated, it means separation of church and state. Although in the French context, it's a little bit more complicated than that. To give you an idea of what I'm talking about, take, for example, the visit of French President Emmanuel Macron to the Conference of French Bishops in 2018. He was invited to speak and he said, the ties between church and state have been broken. It is up to us to repair them. The only solution is a truthful dialogue. Now that statement seems fairly innocuous to American ears, but in France it caused an outcry. Macron's opponents on the left and the right said that he was opening up old wounds and violating the age-old principle of laïcité. So what is that? Laïcité is about separation of church and state. That's something Americans are familiar with because our constitution guarantees this separation. It says that the state is not allowed to meddle in what churches do, and it's not allowed to tell them how to run, and it's not allowed to restrict religious practice in any way. So it's a matter of keeping the state out of the church. However, in France, when they talk about laïcité, it's understood a bit differently. It means that religion should be a purely private matter, practiced in the home, the mosque, the synagogue, the church, but not in public. And the state needs to be kept free of any influence by religion. It's a matter of protecting the state from the church. To understand where this idea comes from, we have to go back to the Middle Ages, back before France was a democracy. Under the monarchy, there was a very cozy relationship between the crown and the church. So, for example, in the year 496, the Frankish king Clovis converts to Christianity and is baptized, and all of his subjects, at least officially, become Catholic as well. It was understood that loyalty to the Frankish king meant loyalty also to his religion. You could no more have a choice between two churches than you could between two kings. So that was the situation in France at the French Revolution in 1789. The revolutionaries understood that if they were going to introduce democracy to France, they were going to have to do something about the grip on power that the Catholic Church had. For the next century or so, France went back and forth between republics, which were trying to get the Catholic Church out of the halls of power, and more authoritarian regimes that were more sympathetic to the Church. The Third Republic, which comes to power at the end of the 19th century, is the most lasting of the republics, and it's the one that does the most to push the Catholic Church out of power. For example, in 1882, it passes a law creating free, secular, mandatory public schools. This is an important step towards modernizing France, but it was also a direct attack at the church, which up until then had run the schools. And then in 1905, the republic passed the law of separation of church and state. No more funding of churches of any kind, no more official recognition of the church in any way. The Catholic Church was an association, a nonprofit organization, just like any other. This law was vehemently opposed by the Catholic Church, which severed diplomatic ties with France. So that was all a long time ago. What does it still matter today? Well, after 250 years of conflict between Republican regimes and the Catholic Church, the French state today is still very wary of any incursion of religion into public life. That explains a few things. Why, for example, laïcité is now one of the four pillars of the Republic next to liberty, equality, and fraternity. It explains why French politicians hardly ever will speak about their own religious convictions and why you will never hear a French politician end a speech with God bless France. Today, of course, the Catholic Church doesn't wield the same kind of influence in France that it did a century ago when church and state were separated and Catholics in France aren't plotting the overthrow of democracy. We saw in our last video that Catholicism is very much on the decline in France. But Islam is on the rise. And so today when people talk about laïcité in France, it's often shorthand for making Islam more compatible with French society, reforming Islam somehow, making Muslims understand French values. We're going to talk more about that in our next video.